Mr. Bay, hey. good morning. It's uh, no, you absolute... gotta call me either Bay or Michael or whatever. I can Not call Mr. you Michael. I can call yeah. you Michael. So yeah, it's yeah, it's absolutely yeah, yeah, a privilege yeah. to talk to you today. Uh, before you're I get on, started, you're on. You're on, ah. this, you're on the <laughs> understood. I understood. Better. That's okay. Not a problem at all. Uh, I just wanted to say before I get into ambulance, my brother and I basically grew up as teenagers watching your movies. So for me to talk to you today is an absolute privilege. I'm very, I'm very excited to be talking. That's awesome. That's awesome. I mean, listen, I was a punk kid with Will Smith right here in Miami and Martin Lawrence, and (laughs) they had no faith in that movie. And that movie, that movie was literally it changed. The studio didn't have faith in the movie. And because two black guys don't, it didn't travel around the world. Do you understand? And, but I knew there was something special about those guys and my youthful energy, and we made something, and it and it and it changed the game. Uh, it's the first movie uh, with two black stars that worked overseas. And um, but uh, but yeah, being a kid and like uh, you know, with your crew telling you that's not going to work, cut too fast, that's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> well, we loved it. My brother and I absolutely loved it. And obviously your visually kinetic style in that movie and Ambulance as well, to me has always felt like a character within the movies. And Ambulance features a lot of these drone shots that you've now introduced into the cinematography that weave in and out of the action. What was it about drones in particular that excited you to feature them in Ambulance? Well, I always try to do something new. Um, and I, I felt drone technology was pretty bad. Uh, not bad, but just, it just it's always the same. It doesn't have energy. So I found two 19 year old kids and I'm, t- I was tough on them. I'm like, yeah, I want you to fly. You've got two feet. You're going to fly under that jumping car. Do I get to practice? No, you don't get to practice because I'm only jumping the car once and you better get it right. <laughs> These kids were awesome. So that I'm telling you that technology would be copied in movies because it's, it's pretty cool. It's awesome. And it looks amazing in the film. And it obviously adds to the adrenaline that courses. It adds that throughout energy, ambulance. The immediacy. It's, just, it's, mm. it's, it's a definite energy. Uh, absolutely ambulance has its foot to the floor from start to finish it's an intense tour ride what's what's the key for you to keep that adrenaline coursing for the runtime of the movie you know it's well first of all it's about the emotions of what's going on in the character that's that's where you, you got to focus and the movie was about tension uh you might be too young but that movie does both um it was about the sub it's very claustrophobic but it it, it it just makes the intensity and this what this is what makes the real cinema experience i've seen it with big audiences and they say it's a, a really immersive movie. Um, so uh, I recommend people see it in the theater here. You know? Absolutely. And uh, I agree as well. A big screen, loud Ooh, I, bet action, you, you could, I, bet, I bet you could quote my movies better than me. I have a feeling. I bet you could. <laughs> I, pretend, I, can yeah. do a few, I can do a few of the scenes from Bad Boys too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it, I can tell the younger generation knows, knows Bad Boys better than me. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Uh, and well, you're talking about how important it is for the, the characters to be central to that adrenaline and, and Ambulance does have a very human narrative, especially with Will's character. And, and I think that's a common theme in a lot of your movies. How important is it to balance the dramatic human side of the story, but also create an explosive blockbuster at the same time? Yeah, I mean, as, as, as the, crew, the crews call it, it's, it's like now fondly known as Bayhem, okay? I would I'd not make up that name, okay? It sounds, okay. <laughs> Action is just action if you're not into the emotion with the characters. And uh, I, I always try to put my characters at the center of the action. And, and I try to put the audience in the middle of the action. Um, you know, so that's how I tried to help that genre and, like, you know, add some of my spin to it. Um, it it's, I, I think it's a very sig- uh, signature style that you have as well. And I think, I think that's why I'm very attracted to your films in that way. Well, you remember a lot of critics hated it when it came out. They hated how fast it was cut, bad boys. And, and now you look at action movies nowadays and they're basically all, they're like that, you know? So, Absolutely. Um, and I'm okay to take the shit for it. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, look, in, in saying that and talking about how people receive your films, I think on the opposite end of that spectrum, and, and I do know this has been asked today about Yaya's interview where Jake took the camera uh and i've heard jake uh was unaware that he he who is co-directing the film as the no, most no, people no. outlets have said it, it's actually you're hearing a story that that went into either telephone or whatever that writer yeah it basically gave the i gave the camera to jake twice because you're in an ambulance yeah. and there's so many places to put it so i put it in his lap and i said use your ankles and try to get it on your face and then also then hold it on yaya you know, because yeah. we, we had to put cameras everywhere, and uh, it wasn't directing a directing no. A movie. 
Yeah. But in saying in saying that as well, and as you said, how action has sort of become that that frantic style uh, over the years. Do you feel a, a, some gratitude, or is it is it a feeling that you've created something special that action is now what we see it as today because of how you sort of adapted and changed the genre early on in your work, and now what we see with ambulance is an incredible form of action. Well, I, so as as one of the heads of Paramount uh, said, he described it in a way. He says. Listen, I was inspired by Lucas, Spielberg, and then I got into these summer blockbusters. My date was always July 4th. And so uh, as, as the Paramount uh, had said, he says, you helped change the game on, on, on these popcorn summer movies. And yes, I, I did get, I, I, got a, I was given a hard time when, when my Bad Boys was cut so fast, but I said, listen, the younger generation processes things faster. And, you know, it, as I talked to my film, my film professor, she's a great film theorist. She goes, people, critics hate change. And, um, but I've seen it come around. I mean, I've seen like New York Times say, this is one of the, I think she said something like the, uh, uh, the, the, the just, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm screwing up. I'm, I'm losing my train of thought of uh, the words she used, but uh, that I was, you know, one of the, in terms of change, change helping change, forward the action genre um she was referring to so understood i just had a brain fart there so (laughs) (laughs) no no not a a problem at all well look that's my time michael i I, like i said it was an absolute privilege to talk to you uh congratulations on the movie i loved it i'm actually going to watch it again i'm taking my brother this time Uh, i think we're gonna have a great time at yeah yeah, we're going are you calling me from your bedroom what is that i'm in a hotel at the moment actually (laughs) oh okay all right all right good i hope you made your bed before you talk (laughs) i did i did i cleaned the room up just for you (laughs) thank you very much for your time have a great day